so. It is going to be probably Tiny Mid, yeah. I think in either case, the puck probably copes quite well because you can just phase shift the toss harassment or the uh, the homing missile harassment. I guess the, I mean, the Phantom Lancer can also just doppel it, but it's, uh, that's that's what SC wants. So yeah, it's like that's what SC is going to get. Yeah, they're not swapping again. I thought they might have, but KP is staying on this Phantom Lancer. We got a bathroom break. Not a whole lot of time for, for newbie after playing that full best of three earlier, now into a best of five that's looking to go the distance. Of course, the good news for them is that it's daytime and for you two as well, my friend. Over here, it is uh, one in the morning, 1.40. Not that late yet, but by the time the series end, it ends, it could easily be five in the morning, so. I have to switch my sleep schedule so fast because Midas Mode is at the end of this week and that's a European American tournament. So like, this is great. Not that it's really that big of a deal. I've done worse, you know, it's more of the, I just got back from Dota Pit and now I'm casting Chinese Dota and then I have to go back to an American schedule. So that's the real, the real weird thing is that there's been a lot of casting for me the past few days. Not that I'm complaining. I'm not complaining, okay? So we got no, because we got good Dota. And you know what? That, that makes me happy. We've had some very good games already today. We had an interesting GG situation at the end of the game through the last series. And we have figured out what happened. It's been posted on Reddit. People have tweeted at me. I understand the circumstances now as to why the GG happened with LFY. Well, let's just say in short, it was some drama. If you want to look, read more about it, you can head over to Reddit. Reddit.com slash r slash Dota 2, the website. That's where the drama is, or so I've been told. <laughs> that's the that's the the home. That is the spot. That's that the, is the, the hot home. spot of drama. <laughs> if you're a fiend, that's where you can get your fiend on. Actually, there's another home for drama. That's not. It's an American website that you might know. It's very popular oh, yeah. with American Dota players. I wonder what it's called. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Hmm. I mean, it's 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 North. You know, it's a website for North American Dota. Dota players. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Shout out to any Dota, by the way. Uh, <laughs> place i used to visit you know i since not just, visited in a while actually just, do you still have the shirt did you ever have the shirt? oh i still i wear that shirt all the time although it's gotten a little okay. too small for me but uh yeah no i mean shout out to number one to spitwad who yep. i dearly miss he's a very good friend of mine for, uh, creator curator of any dota for quite some time obviously shout out to grant who is a legend over there but now we're watching chinese dota no american dota yeah. as we speak we have chinese dota some of the best teams in the world Vici and Nubi getting top three at Dota Pit, getting a uh, Nubi rather getting four second at I think everybody knows that. There's no real reason to talk about it, but this is a very good series. A lot of highly skilled Dota, a lot of highly um, just really good individual play, and the drafts are the really interesting thing about the series. But anyways, the game's gonna start. We're gonna get some bounty runes. Vici will be aggressive as they have a gyrocopter. Really pretty strong. Fenrir also is gonna be a bully. Bane is pretty good in the early game, and Mookie will take three auto attacks from him as now Fenrir will back up himself up in the way. And how are these lanes shaping up, basically? What are we seeing here? Uh, so it looks like we've got the Void a little bit, like, sacked this game. Not really good. Gonna be getting too much help. I'm actually a bit surprised that they don't put, like, KP on the Void and Moogie plays the, uh, the PL. The one nice thing about this situation, and I guess it's the one nice thing about having KP on their team, is that he has played carry in the, flat, in the past when he was on MVP. Um, he was actually the carry player on that roster. I mean, you can argue that it was QO who was the position one, but he was the, the safe player. So he knows his way around uh, this kind of this kind of situation. Yeah. So if anybody's worried about that type of situation, I don't think you should be. It's early, obviously. BT are going to have a pretty good lane set up for themselves. The tiny versus the puck. Ori is going to again. We've seen this from the other Chinese players from Silar. Go for the true grab first. Whereas in the America Dota scene, Limp. He went for the toss avalanche combo that you usually see on the old tiny. So, different styles. He is up to six last hits already, which is actually really good. Uh, Astro Plus, kind of having a rough time. Ori having a lot of base damage, obviously. Something to consider. So, still have a pretty good start. Yeah. Getting harassed down quite a bit. Let's see, going to be fairing out of salve. Uh, some damage being chucked out down bottom. It's actually Young Eleven on the Phoenix. Yeah, that's, I guess that's the one thing that we didn't touch on, but this last pick made means that they've actually got the Phoenix as their off laner. Right, means he's going to get quite a lot more levels in terms of dealing with the egg. It's not that easy in this game. Uh, Vici right. have like cogs to force people away. They got a nightmare or a grip. Even just forcing your way in against the call down, I think is going to be tough. So. 
I, I, I also like it because it's a highly skilled cap hero, at least in my opinion, Phoenix yeah. is, where you drop the egg, where you move, where you use your abilities, and I think it makes this a bit more interesting for Young 11, who's a very highly individually skilled player who will grab a bounty where you can beat So yeah, the last pick, uh, Bane coming out. By the way, I don't know if you know this, I'm sure you do, but uh, Ori, if you can get level three grow, you get 40% status resistance. I just wanted to throw that out there because that number seems really high, yep. but it's a thing. Throwing that out there. I mean, what, what status is, is he going to resist this game? It's true. The slow on Spirit Lance? Listen, like, man, I'm just saying, <laughs> all right? The silence from Puck, I suppose. That's, uh, that's definitely something relevant to him in this game. Uh, what, the, the Dream Coil and... The Dream Coil doesn't get affected, right? Or does it? I'm not sure. It's a good question. I don't think it should. It's an ultimate. Uh, I, it's a weird... I'm not exactly sure about the ins and outs of status resistance yet. So don't quote me on it. I just know people are, wow, Moogie's gonna die. The homing missile, Fenrir, the brain saps. I did not think it was going to do that much. Level two homing missile, Paparazzi. Woo, the spicy meatball. My God. Yeah, they're really, really doing some work up here. And Tiny is absolutely dominating the mid lane. 20 and yeah. four to the, uh, about to be, what, probably 12 and two. Yeah, let's see, let's get that last hit. Um, I think the big reason that they put the puck mid this game is just so that they can make sure that the puck comes online early and can can have an impact uh, it might also be because they've got this core phoenix and they, they this is probably the best way that they have to deal with it is just to have the puck and be able to jump into the back line get the lockdown get the silence kill the phoenix before the egg even comes out because the core phoenix should actually be quite good this game in terms of giving them more AOE for the Phantom Lancer. I think that's something that their, their lineup had some of, but not a crazy amount. But I think the Phoenix uh, makes it just a little bit stronger. Dude, I've been watching top, and yep. homing missiles really good against Void Ivory S. It's, it's pretty good. It's very annoying. You can, I'm pretty sure you can jump through it, right? And like, figure that it. That sounds right. That but, sounds uh, correct, because you can jump through a lot of stuff with the Void the Time Walk. He might be hesitant to try because if he jumps forward into them and they get stunned by the homie missile, he's gonna look like a real Claude. So. Exactly. Cool Claude. That's a great word. <laughs> Shoutouts to you for that one. Meanwhile, mid lane S Triple C needs to be very careful. Like you mentioned, this is a way to deal with someone like the Phoenix, but he is getting roughed up in mid lane. Thirty lasted six denies for Ori to seventeen and two. Now eighteen and two for S Triple C. Lanham has rotated over. I think they realize that he's not here. They only see Young 11 bottom. In fact, they don't see really anybody. Now they're going to find Young 11, but uh, they can't really make it go. And so S Triple C, he might not be getting the most form in the world, but he, he, he really shouldn't die either. He's going to get hit by a cleave from Ori. The true grab at level three now, it does a lot of damage. So he needs to be very careful. This is a really interesting build from Ori. I've seen the like early point in tree grab as kind of the value point but i've never i don't think i've seen it max yet so i guess he's going to be playing kind of farm heavy You're right Maybe by like treads start making his way through the jungle that kind oh, of setup the a shift but he will get tossed up there's an illusory orb as triple c cock push but he's still going to be able to jaunt away good effort from vg but uh good base shift to keep that c alive they will instead move to the shrine go together get some health back um, remember, the only thing that really changes this pre grab is going to be the attacks that you do. Uh, yeah. How many attacks it takes before the pre breaks. It's important to know that. Yeah, Moogie so might be dead. It pretty much only makes it better in like, the party. Moogie so oh, is dead. That's actually a sick combo. You nightmare him until the homing missile gets there, and then you just brain sap him. He has no way of surviving. Cock is going to get tossed with the Lanham now, the battery salt. The auto attacks, and Ori just swipes him down with his freaking freeze. Level 6, so he has the one point in grow. Ori already rotating top of the net worth, and VG have now a pretty uh, nice advantage here at the early stages of this game. A little bit of nightmare harassment from Fenrir. I don't even know if this is harassment. It might just be a kill. Couple, I think he, like, I two think more auto killed. attacks. Level and then two brain sap. There it is. And S Triple C walks over and watches his friend die, and he's like, "Sorry, I can't do anything. Literally, Bane's too strong in the early game." So yeah. Fenrir also, will I don't have boots. another pick. <laughs> right. S Triple C is just like, okay, well. He even walked up. He's gonna. He's not even in mid lane. He's giving mid to Moogie now. They're switching lanes. They're hardcore swapping these lanes around because Moogie is having a tough time in the top lane. Not that I think Pucky's gonna fare any better. I guess he could phase shift, but it's still gonna be kind of rough. 
So this is a great start for BG here in game number three, basically. Oh yeah, all of their lanes are getting pretty good farm. Even the Phoenix has been pressured pretty heavily by this two lane. He's been hiding in the trees, spamming out the max spirits, and uh, just finding farm that way. This, this void is well, doesn't get tossed back. <laughs> Creep not being too cooperative. Or he's super scary as a haste rune now. He could go pretty much anywhere. As you can see, Dream Quill, he finally gets the boots. He will have to lose your orb away. He probably will jaunt. Fenrir actually almost gets the Nightmare off, but just gets fogged because it is nighttime. On the other side, Young Eleven is trying to be aggressive against Gaka. Here comes the Fire Spirits. The Shrine is out. Now he does have Supernova, and they have no real way of dealing with it. Now they do with KP here, but he could just take, excuse me, Icarus dive away, and in fact, now they found KP. There's the Supernova. They will probably take it down because Triple C is here, and they will. It'll be one for one trade. Or he's going to get Dream Quill. He's still hasted up. He has actually 12 wand charges. He'll go for the CP. No way they can cancel this. No spirit lands for a second. So maybe Young Eleven getting a little too ahead of himself. But on the other side, call down. Crazy's going to get taken down. Brain Sap level 2 is available. He will use the fortunes and the Omen support hit. And this is probably a dead phase. They don't even need the Brain Sap. They can maybe even think about diving Cock, who's now in the tree line. But he will drop a ward instead. And uh, Vici will get a couple of kills across the board. The game going really well. All right, Ori. So despite maxing the Vitro, he's actually still just going to be going for for a blink tiger um, And this maybe the idea is that the tree throw just or the, the grab just helps him get to his blink that little bit faster. I can chase down. Yeah, he might be dead. Nightmare comes out. We'll take him down a little bit. A couple of auto attacks. They change that to the Bane, and Fenrir gets a dominating spree. This Bane pick has been outstanding. It's a fifth pick Bane pick after they already had a Phoenix. So they said, okay, we'll throw the Phoenix in the offline. We'll have the Bane as a support. And he has really helped Paparazzi open up a can of whoop ass in the top lane. Like, Newbie are getting crushed up here. Not only that, but the rest of the lanes as well. Newbie have one kill across the board. They are down 3k in net worth at nine minutes into the game. And Paparazzi continues to harass. Of course, it's a doubtful getting around at the KP. They have three heroes top lane just trying to deal with this. But um, Vici are not going to be caught because they have a ward nearby. And hence... In the meantime, there's a toss on Amugi who will be able to use his time walk to avoid any further damage in the back. Get a lot of that damage back. Dash up into Ori, who's very strong at this point, so he will be able to survive. Now, bottom looking for Young Eleven, the Dream Quill, but the Icarus Dive, good waiting rift. Blows him away. S Triple C waited perfectly for that silence to come out, and they will find another kill on Young Eleven. So, those are the two kills Newbie are getting. They're on the team at this point of the early. Pretty good, important that SC finds something here. Doesn't quite manage to steal this entire stack. Don't see the rocket player from Lamb. Uh, but this gyrocopter is looking somewhat scary. I don't know if you've looked at Paparazzi's CS, but he actually has 35 denies. He's been getting utter free farm That's up here at top. Insane. And he only has phase mask madness. I mean, he actually doesn't even have the mask yet. He's still working on the quarter staff. So. But he will get very big. Speaking of which, Ori is sitting on 1600 himself. Let's try to put some pressure on this tier one tower mid. They have the tree grab. They have the toss work as well. But uh, Mugi does have his chronosphere, and they have a couple of heroes nearby. And Young Eleven is going to get caught by it. I think he's dead again. Time dilation, illusory orb. No Icarus side for him. No supernova for him. And now Ori is forced to leave. So Phoenix gets killed again. All right, that's one way to get farmed and get back in the game for newbie. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it, it's a relatively big commitment, but still important that newbie are, are finding something here. Kaka's just queuing up an ag at this point, so he is planning for that on the Keeper of the Light. And like we said earlier, I do think that their lineup is quite difficult to push into. So the early, go the early game going badly for newbie, I don't think is necessarily... It's not great, but I don't think it's that concerning either. Right. They do have quite good late game, good ways to kind of get to that point. I don't, I'm not going to say that Jarecrop necessarily falls off as we get to the later stages. But he is, his survivability isn't necessarily going to scale maybe in the way that it, it needs to for him to, to live through these fights. And I've also seen Tiny with a lot of net worth still struggle in the later stages, just getting, like, even with, like, an AC... It's not quite enough to completely fix your armor problems, and then you just end up getting right. right click down. We saw it happen at Salar yesterday, or whenever they came once. I think it was yesterday. I mean, he had, he had some CK problems, but... Yeah, Very true. Was, uh, <laughs> the tree throw animation is the funniest thing. It's great. Just it's really good. Just it at, at Moogie, and he's like, great. Thanks for that. Um, but he is top of the net worth. I think... 
I agree with you completely. I think it's hard to push into newbie, but I think Vici also really wants snowball here, so they don't have to deal with that issue. And they're taking the tier one tower down to the mid lane. They have the mass commandus for paparazzi. I wouldn't be surprised now that they have the blink dagger and the tiny to see them get a lot more involved in terms of trying to take fights. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it comes down to it is night time now. They're still trying to push elsewhere. KP is looking for Fenrir, perhaps the homie misses gonna come. There's the Dream Coil. They actually miss it on a Fenrir. The call down will come. That is a dead KP. Fenrir was just waiting. Paparazzi is gonna get eliminated. He's taking a lot of damage. He does stick up. There's the Nightmare coming out, trying to save him. Icarus dive, Supernova. S Triple C is gonna have to face it. The Lucio Overway can't make it out of time. Burns down to the Phoenix, and now Kaka, lucky to make it out alive. He is very speedy on this Keeper of the Light, but still, they will lose two, and perhaps the tower along with it. Very good rotation. Young 11 and very good fight from each game in each game. Fender's Bane is monstrous. That that uh, nightmare on the on the Illuminate is so sick. And now he's found out Fenrir. Oh, now he's found out Faith again. So what was Bane he has a there? mega kill streak. What is going on? I did not expect that. I was not expecting uh, a. Oracle and Bane to be fighting at the Uber Cliff near a tier one tower at 13 minutes into the game. I'm gonna be honest with you, I missed that kill completely. My apologies. That's fine. We he walked up. About he's, he, he walked up. He found him. He nightmared him. Wait a little bit. Very straightforward stuff, but it's just because this Bane is such a high level. I mean, he's already he's already level nine. He's got max Can nightmare. You imagine if this was the old Bane and at level 10 he could get into feeble steel damage. That would be actually unstoppable. I mean, at this point, he pretty much is. He's got a mega kill spree. Fenrir, start building it a carry. Trust me, it's the way to go. They'll nightmare up some of these illusions. I don't think they, they were going to find anything. They will find the mid tier one tower. 11, I think, got it. Uh, yep. Looks like the last hit was given to somebody like him, I think. Actually, no, Kaka uh, denied it. Denied it? All right, well, whatever. Yeah, look in the, you can look in the, the chat. It's, yeah, it's pretty I, confusing that the, oh, there it is. the kills are. I don't in know the, why they don't put it in the yeah, same thing. In, the, in like you the event I mean? log? Yeah. Exactly. They could just put, they could they put it in it both special. places, right? It's not like they have to take it away from the chat feed. But anyway. Oh. They're going to find Lottom on the other side. Dream Coil into TP. They cancel it with Chronosphere. Purifying Flame is actually healing him fairly well, but he's going to get a loser reward and then dash it by Moogie, so. Chrono committed for a Lanham support. Uh, oh, hold that thought. Top lane. That's a piece grip. KP also getting bursted down by Ori, who only has level one avalanche, by the way, but more than enough damage to secure the kill with the help of Fenrir. Now he's dominating, and the courier is flying in for some specific reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, it's actually spotted by this ward, but there's no way to get to it, so that was fairly interesting. Paparazzi Dark Copter is looking very big. Gonna have an SNY soon. SC ratting a little bit. He's gonna get Nightmare. Do they have Fuse Grip? No, he just used it. I'm blind. He just used the top. He'll try for an Illusior. Brain Sap. He's gonna face shift, but he will go for the TP. It's going to be close, but Fenrir wasn't there to get a lot of that damage. Instead, Faith might be dead. He does his uh, false promise. Might not want to use it. KP is coming in, though. They're really chasing after this. There's the false promise. Supernova coming out. I believe Young Eleven is dead because KP just destroyed it with himself and uh, the help of Faith and a few others. So, Young Eleven, is he died? Is he the only one that's... No, him and then Clockwork has died once. So, all right. Okay. He's, uh, he's getting, getting pretty keen on his Phoenix in some of these situations, but I don't think it's concerning Vici too much overall as they continue to take really good control of the map. They've got pretty much complete access to the Dire Jungle at this point. They'll probably stop, they'll probably stop farming like this section and just start using the Dire Jungle and continue to build up this lead more and more and more while Newbie is kind of struggling. They almost have Blink on the pot and they are just... Lana might be another solo kill. They get off the waning rift. Battery assault was on first. Illuminate will hit up on the Ori. Paparazzi will dodge it swiftly. They're still going to take this tier 2 tower. Now it's daytime. They'll blink out with one. Paparazzi is so fast that they can't catch him anyways. Lana, oh, maybe they can. Fortune Dead will come in. Lana's still trying to, I think, just hold on here. He can hook shot and try to get away, but the coil will break and he'll die because of it. So that is still just a dead clockwork. They will take the tier 2 tower. In the meantime, PL is trying to split push. Again, they, they do have good light game here and good high ground defense for newbie, but they are getting further and further behind as the minutes pass by here, basically. Yeah, and they're, well, they do have like some some more playmaking potential now that they've got the blink dagger picked up on the puck. So next green pro will probably be a smoke gank. Uh, the Void's also got the chrono with his Master Madness. He's contributing 
something to the damage situation, though he might be about to die. They have a ward that saw him move up to the high ground. S triple C has definitely been spotted. And uh, I imagine we'll see somebody get jumped on. It is going to be a chrono counter initiation because Fenrir does throw up the team strip. He probably dies that's for this. That's a, that's a huge spree that is taken by the puck. That's actually giant. It's a, a mega kill spree taken. How much gold did he get out of that? He has 950 now. That That is going to help him really get to a jail. You got 400 from the kill alone. So that's pretty nice. Or almost 500, actually. Okay. A little surprised that Vichy don't just try and like five man down. Uh, I guess maybe they don't even really want to be five manning too much. Maybe it's five on five team fighting is pretty darn good. And as we've seen, they do they do deal with the egg at least in the first one on level one. Oh, uh oh, yeah, well, being of the egg. Phoenix is dead again. Young eleven. He's got Icarus dive. Nope. He doesn't have any mana. No, nor does he have it. It was off cooldown anyways. He yeah, had no, supernova, he... but again, no mana for it. So, <laughs> damn dude. They're actually doing a really good job. Like finding kills for these heroes off of Venus. Now they have a diffusal up for KP. He's farmed really well. He's actually looking for paparazzi. He's going for a TP. So nice play there. Um, I think if Chrono's not up, I think Vichy can easily fight five versus five, but it, it, it comes down if that ability is up. They don't really want to fight into the Chrono as we saw previously. Um, and in fact, they will smoke as three. Fiend's grip is back at 25. Or he has a full Echo Saber that he just bought. Now he's working at a heart. He'll take a tree. Kaka's going to almost run into lane. Instead, they will find a triple C. Avalanche, good phase shift, though. That might be enough. There's going to be the toss. Echo Saber, good nightmare for Fenrir with the brain sap. That will secure the kill. So even when they miss out on the initiation, they will still get the kill. Now there is going to be the Coddle Ags, though. A newbie. This game is still its not over yet. There's still a lot to be done here for Beachy to try to finish this one up. Yeah, they're... Uh... They, their their team fight potential is definitely through the roof, at this point. especially during daytime. Having the vision to keep the light to go along with the puck and the void jump. Potentially, even the like, even the Phantom Lancer seeing the back line. So the Phantom Lancer gets on top of the bane. There's really nothing that Fenrir can do. He's had an amazing early game so far, but he may just start to get hounded by KP in all these fights, and we'll see him start to to fall off a little bit. They're going to recall a couple of heroes. They're going to wrap all the way behind. Newbie are still smoked up. Mookie is not. Not that there's... Oh, there was an Observer where they might have scouted out Mookie rotating. In fact, they know there's the no sound. Lanham, he's going to get caught. He does have hookshot, but now out of mana completely as the mana lead comes in. They have the Elusive Orb. He's got the Rune Drop. He's getting stuff alive. Fortune that Illuminate. The damage, but he's going to heal up. And they've got the False Promise. The Chrono hits onto three. There's the Rocket Barrage. Now Ori getting caught up. There's the Icarus Dive in. They need a Supernova. They'll drop it down now. A lot of damage being done by Ori. Not nearly enough, though, to get some of these big kills. JP will use his doppelganger. Fenrir's going to be chased down. He's about to fall. One more auto attack as Triple C will get the job done, but KP is in some serious trouble here. The Young 11 pop rocks. Now they'll just up the Kaka instead. Looks to be two for two trades. KP now getting turned on. As Triple C looks for at least one more. Very low, but he will have to get out. He'll have to flick himself away as he was looking for Paparazzi, who has the massive madness running. Doing a lot of damage to Sunray coming in, just going to be healing a Paparazzi. In the end, despite all of that great team fight potential from Newbie, they will still lose the fight 3 to 2. And uh, very good stuff. Ori somehow surviving in that Chronosphere. Great supernova from Phoenix, but very close fight for both of them. Unfortunately, they just can't do that much in the, in the Chrono. Right, like they have a, they kind of have a set amount of damage. It's one round of puck nukes plus an illuminate, and then whatever right clicks the void gets off. But his right clicks aren't really doing too much in uh, this stage, even against the tiny zero armor. Um, and interestingly enough, Ori is actually just queuing up a heart. I am very. I'm into it. Strength. He's already got a million status, status resistance. resistance. Dude, it's the meme. It continues. Trust me. Hookshot from Lanham as he gets blinding lighted. Now he's out of mana completely and getting owned by KP. But the damage isn't really that high. Well, maybe now it is. They have S triple C coming in. So KP, even with no mana, still does plenty of work. They can take a kill. Faith dies on the other side, of course. So it is a one for one trade. Um, it is a 7k lead for Vichy, but again, Newbie continue to fight back. They still hold on to some of these tier 2 towers despite there being some plenty of push from Vichy. So we're kind of. Uh, Wait for the next big fight. Wait for the next big performance group potentially from Newbie to see if uh, they can turn this bad boy around. He's actually almost got battle tree too for Newbie. It's really big. big item for them. S Triple C just looking at Kaka taking a nap. Yeah, he'll be he'll be all right. Reaching out really. It's, like, it's nighttime. Point. You're on your own, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> it's like up. Oh.
Uh, can I get some D wards over here? Does Faith realize that there is a ward that's... Oh, he, he knows that there's a ward that scouted him, oh. but check this out. It's deep scroll. Young weapon. That was Donage. That was hype. Taco almost hit the blast light. He pushed the problem it broke the cheap oil. Anyways. Oh, yeah, I was Whoa. just talking about this ward. Check it out. Faith's like, how did I die over here? How did this tiny find me? And then, uh... The ward's over on this side. <laughs> that... Oh, my God. That sentry. That's a that's sad one. That is a sad life. In the meantime, though, Beachy will move into the Roche pit. This will go fairly quick, back. Top of a lot of these. Don't have armor reduction? I don't think so. This gyro is so big, though. Almost 13k net worth. Now we're just coming to finish this thing off. He's got his reaver. He, he, he's actually just going hard. Straight up. I like it. I like it, Ori. I like the mindset that you're in right now. <laughs> My gyrocopter no has a ring of Aquila. I have plus two armor. It's all I Yeah, need. I just saw that. I was wondering where that was coming from, then I realized that was some kill. Yeah. <laughs> That's suppressing for Ori. Is it though? I guess he's still unkillable. He's 7-0-2 despite having zero armor. There Delve. isn't really that much physical damage on the Nuki side. At least not until like Nuki picks up another micro item. And then even yeah. Void does like a Decent chunk of it is magical. Magical, yeah, time lost. Yep. Time lost. Very true. Uh, speaking of Boogie, he's been scouted. There is that ward there, but I think he knows that he's getting run at. He's actually running down towards the top instead of finishing up the camp. If he did finish up the camp soon. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he's just running to the push bot. Looks like he's gonna. He already has a TP scroll. Lana will see me as another player in four seconds. Go for the blind hook shot. It's your only chance. Nope, never mind. He's gonna go for it just normally. And finds it easily because he has the dog. Or rather, the player to work with. So, time walk away. They have the Fiend script. Moogie is dead one way or the other. Good attempt at trying to elude capture, but Beachy will end up finding and killing him. So, 10k advantage now. That'll get Ori closer to his heart of grass. In fact, very close. Give him all the last pop runs. Come on, man. You don't need any more. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna see this. I wanna see how much status resistance he has with the. He's also not too far away from 18. So. I'm not gonna show you guys until he gets to the really want to see when he gets. Well, to no, so. don't 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 show him until he gets level 18, dude. That's, that's oh, good. true, true. All right, we'll keep it. No, I no, you can't. Too much of a tease. I, yeah, I uh, think so. He's got 21% status resistance now, which seems. Yeah. He's gonna gain another 10%. From a point in grow. I think it, it's not including his grow, right? I don't, because he's supposed to have 30. I, I don't know how this works. Don't ask me. Oh, yeah, that's true. What, what is his total? I think the tool is bugged. Or it just doesn't include the It grow doesn't include the talent, I presume. So, 50. So, that, that's how much he's getting just from the strength. Right. Oh, my word. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of insane. Does this stack additive? Uh, good uh, question. I don't know. I These are the questions I should be asking you, not you should That's be asking. That's true. I should I should know this actually. Not really. This is a newly implemented. First of all, this is like that is just who knows what it does. That's not true. Everybody knows what it does. I'm just gonna stop talking. Ori is sitting right now. He's level 17. He's gonna have a level 18 suit. 40% status resistance. Not to mention, he gets a lot of bonus damage from the gold, or rather the grow. He also gets some attack speed reduction, but that's fine. Uh, Young Eleven will survive a gank, potentially bottom the eight first dived away from Mr. C, who did not use the group coil. Decided against it. I don't think he was there in time. Newbie will push together bottom and try to take a tier two tower, while Ori will threaten to push into the high ground at the tier three as he has his eight in heart. So you need to be very careful, Newbie, here about how you play this next few minutes. They are just kind of playing together, lying on the caudal vision while they climb up the, the radiant jungle. But they are very far behind. I feel like as soon as we see a big contribution from Young Eleven in a team fight, Newbie probably is going to wipe that. Right? He's, being, he's had a little bit of a quiet game on the whole. But all it's going to take is like one good Phoenix ulti for this game to potentially completely end. I don't think he's going to I mean, despite him dying, he's done a fairly good job still. He's nice playing into the map as well. Uh, Ori had 20% status resistance when he got the level 18, so that's obviously the tool tips bugs. It only went up by 1% since he picked up, I don't know. I don't know. He has plenty of status resistance, don't let the tool tips fool you. There's a lot yeah. there. I mean, and, the, the uh, problem is, is that the only two things that you can stack status resistance are 
and Youngness. Those are the only two sources outside of Strange. So right. it's like. Yeah, I don't know. He uh, He's going to DC, though. He will uh, be back, I'm sure, momentarily. You've got some you've got some time here, buddy. Oh, he's reconnected. Just kidding. You don't have any time. <laughs> Psych. I don't have to do math. Woo! All right, there's a 15k lead for Vici Gaming, which seems like a lot compared to what they've had over the past few games. And uh, they still have yet to take these tier threes. KP is starting to get a little big. It's now they're going to wrap here. They have a Chronosphere ready, but no, Mookie's not here, actually. But they'll still find Lanham. I mean, he gets blown up instantly. I'm surprised they didn't bring Mookie there. I guess he was pushing top, but what if you find different heroes instead of just Lanham? I mean, you just want to Chrono him. I don't know. All right. It's like a 2-2k swing right there just from that tower and the kill on the clockwork alone. Well, yeah. they have now. I mean, they're still Nubi's still making nice, you know, making pretty nice plays, uh, doing everything that they can to kind of keep Vici at bay. This is this is again very reminiscent of what we've been seeing across this whole series and across all the games of Captain's Draft between these two teams. Nubi very much playing keep away, trying to play for the lanes, and Vici just trying to find that perfect opportunity to get the kickoffs that they need and keep their early game momentum going. I mean, really, Split Push is the only way Nubi's thing in this game at this point. Uh, Top Rot seems to lose Euro, but he's fine. Manly can finally wear off. And he'll TP. Coddle out. And the homing missile will continue to chase him, but. Where's this thing? Here it is. Go, homing missile, go. Stop. That was important. Alright, Lonim's gonna try to chase up for Faith, who is alone. He has false promise, but mid lane, it looks like they were trying to find KP instead. Chief Guard up. Young Eleven has found him, but where's the call? That is a lot of damage to that summary. Young Eleven is about to solo kill KP. He will just narrowly survive. Young Eleven with Sunray did some serious damage there. If only he had Ori or anybody else. Meanwhile, bottom, Lonim has found Faith, or rather, they've found Lonim. He will hookshot himself to the creeps, but there's the Dream Cool to follow up the Illusory Orb. They're going to try to turn this fight. Ori, Avalanche coming in. Dagon, Lonim is still alive. Fiend's group, that'll be up on Namugi. He's in trouble. He's down. 66 seconds on the sideline. Ori now will turn his attention towards Faith. The Nightmare will come in. There's the Brain Sap. They also Supernova on the backside just in case. It's a double kill for Ori. As Triple C will be able to jaunt down to the low ground or rather to the uh, trees here to the south and then gets recalled back by the Coddle. In the meantime, Paparazzi will try to chase him down or rather just push in the mid lane. But it is going to be a 2 for 1 trade that definitely favors Vici in that play. Very nice for Vici to just get over there so quickly. Did, also, did you see how short the duration was of the Oracle disarm on the Tiny? I don't even know. <laughs> it, it lasted like no time at all. It was, it was very interesting. Um, I don't think it was a hugely impactful thing in that fight, but uh, Ori... Very scary, and he's now finally going to be picking up some armor in a second. Uh, he does almost have the AP completed, so he's going to be very hard to deal with. The gyrocopter is going to be made even tankier. All that flat cannon damage is going to be amped up even just a little bit more. AP's item progression still pretty, pretty meh. It's going to have a Manta soon, which is nice, but not exactly really game changing. There is like some old school rat though. They're really like they're really bringing him around the map, trying to find the foot footage. Like they were cutting the creep waves as they go. See, I like the ideas of newbie, but it feels really there's, disastrous for them right now. There's zero wards on the map. Well, there's one now. Uh, both both teams are gonna get their supports up there, and try and get the position down. Part of that's because Fenrir does have a gem picked up, so they've been able to deward newbie pretty effectively, and that's why they're gonna play such safe wards or wards that are you know super safe against gem. Uh, just putting them all the way up on the high grounds and in non-obvious places, but they just need any little bit of vision that they can get to keep fueling this split push. Yeah, and meanwhile, they just put down two aggressive wolves for Beach, realizing there's still no gem up for newbie. So, so let's get the enemy jungle warded up, let's get the enemy lane warded up. Newbie, they're making their home bottom, essentially. They're trying to keep as pushed out as possible and force Vici back at some point in the near future. By the way, Barosha is up, so if you're looking to try to finish this game if you're Vici gaming, I think that's probably the next option. Let's say that's the case. And it's still the same story as the... Like, this, this whole game and kind of the series, oh, they've jumped in and they found us oh. to see. 
Well, he's gone. He, he died pretty much instantly, didn't he? Yeah, no, no chance to react really at all. The, there's, like the Avatos combo did a ton, and then the, the follow up with the double hit. They found Fenfer. This is the gem if they can find it. But they're gonna have blinding type the ult to him out. Gem, I think, is picked up by Boogie. He's gonna try to time walk away. He'll go for a TP. Uh, there's the hook shot. Though. Another time walk is like two baby to this. Nope. It was a good effort, but he will lose the gem that is picked up by Lanham, so it was a good try oh, for, for a newbie, but... Can you find Faith? He's looking. He's gonna blink up. Faith will juke him as he gets back down to the lane. Oh, he's gonna see this. He's gonna walk right into an avalanche toss combo. And dead. <laughs> the body hits Didn't the even hit the ground. Exactly. He's dead before he even hits it, so... Roche is up now. Three heroes. There's absolutely no reason Vici don't take Roche. They want to try to push high ground and force the buyback or something with the void dead for 38. But I think they'll rather be safe than so they will take the broke down. Shower copper is starting to build into that next item that's satanic and uh they say perhaps they say how you deal with HG that's a ten or fifteen minutes can do that about ten or fifteen minutes or so. Not unkillable enough yet. This is like he's building like yeah. a Sensar, honestly. This is a yeah, Sensar build we saw the other day. It's yeah, almost. kind of is. Except for the Echo Saber. Pretty much the same. Vichy just do not have do not have the damage. And oh, I see. Nightmare Death Boss. TP coming in. Now the Rocket Barrage. Pop Rush to take him down. And I would imagine now Vichy are going to really try to pressure and force the buyback here. If they can. I mean, they, they could wait for nighttime if they really wanted to, but I don't think they're, they are too concerned. Like you're saying, forcing the buyback would be great. Game 11 just working on a hex, so both teams kind of you know, newbie continuing to try and grab some pushing items, We're trying to play for the late game or the void somehow becomes a six-slotted monster, goes two or three people in chrono, and uh, Vici doing everything that they can to shut down the rat. They're buying Boots of Travel, which is an amazing anti-rat item. Uh, right. They're gonna get a hex on the Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it feels like you're kind of running out of time for a newbie. It seems as if they, they just don't have much left in the tank. Whatever euphemism you want to use, probably applicable here in terms of not having much left. They will have paparazzi get manly because he's actually forced in pretty far. He doesn't have a cheese. There's the chronosphere. He is going to take a fair bit of damage if they need more. Good nightmare save. Moogie pops the DKB. Paparazzi still has the cheese to work with. There it is. Supernova on top. Faith has seen some promise on himself. Moogie has to time walk away. Hookshot. Lanham is in deep. Meanwhile, I'm sure Ori is taking your top lane of racks with no issue. In fact, he takes the tier 3 at first. They now have to rotate over. There is no more chronosphere. Yes, you got the cheese. But uh, in the meantime, they're still dealing with Fenrir, who's in the back line. Lanham is a severe vessel on himself, for God's sakes. Fenrir will throw up the Nightmare aggressively onto the Takaka. There's the people to come out as well. Level 18 for the main, they get the Hex onto Faith. They really want to get through the bottom lane. And yeah, they might find it, but more importantly, they're going to find the Rax top lane, it looks like, as Ori is just going to work. He has Aegis, he has Heart. He's going to take the melee Rax down. One more auto attack will do the job. He was regenning for a moment there. Now he's going to get mana leaks. They might be able to get the Aegis. Can they get anything else in question? The rest of his team is right behind him. Here comes the call down. Pop Rocket is going to walk up. He's a little bit low in HP. The Sun Ray will heal him back up now, along with the Spirit Vessel if they have it, although Lana is still a little ways away. Young Eleven has the Sheetus coming out to Yules. No Supernova. He's in trouble. Icarus dives off cooldown. It's rather on cooldown as well. They will get the Hex off onto the Roy, but he will be able to time walk away in time. KP trying to manfly. They're actually doing some serious work here. But not enough damage is being done to Paparazzi. Finally, with that triple C coming in, they will get the kill. Now three dead. They're looking for a fourth. Lana is the one on the run. He does have a plate nail along with a smoke. He can use it, but he's going to get free rolled instead. They'll turn on him. He'll get dropped down. Purifying Flames along with a double kill for us. He's going to be a loser orb. And... They hold, I, I don't know if you can really count that as a hold because they lost their melee racks, but they do get a couple of kills for Newbie and waste the Aegis as well as the Cheese. Yeah, that, that fight was, I think, pretty good for for Newbie. No buybacks used, the tier three bottom is still up. It, it's low, but still up at the very least. And the gem also claimed by Newbie. And that was with, yeah, was with the Cheese used for Gucci Gaming. Uh, we are starting to see a little bit of a problem for 
at least one of the key differences between having tree grab and having the old Aghanim Scepter, which is tree grab actually costs mana. And if the Phantom Lancer is just ooming you and, and kiting you around so that you can't actually get over to the trees, it's very difficult for Ori to, to deal with. It took him forever to kill the, the top Ooh. tower. Nicely done. Blinding Light will come out. I'm not sure they can keep him alive. Very good false promise there, along with a force away from Kaka, as they saw the Tiny coming in. And now Ori's out of mana, just like you mentioned. Here we go. Hook shot from bottom. There's the Cogs. Faith is in trouble. No more false promise. Down for 20 seconds. He will keep Glimmer Cape. They'll drop a Sentry. Good Chronosphere. They'll find Young Eleven and Fenrir, but they're only doing damage to Fenrir at this point. Young Eleven's still in trouble. They're going to have the Glimmer Cape coming out. Fenrir will survive just a moment longer, and he gets Spirit Vessel. They will be popped Supernova as well. Blonim now in the back lines, trying to help out his, of course, Phoenix. Or he's still out of mana. That Icarus dive range is crazy. Young Eleven comes out of nowhere. They get a kill on Faith. They're looking for Kaka. He's going to make it out. No, the Ulus is just in just in time. The Kog pushback is there. It's a double kill for Ori. And the gem gets dropped in the deck and no buyback for either of these supports. And you're fighting without Chronosphere as well. And Ori will finally get a three to work with and go to town perhaps on one of these buildings. In fact, the bottom lane, that's going to be it. Ooh. SC trying his best to cut mid, but top's already being pushed in, so backdoor protection disabled. And we're full advantage. And that might be the beginning of the end. Not much else they could do. They will have Dream Foil up cooldown in a moment. Aegis is finally gone. Ori's back to full HP and mana, but the Fusion Blade will start going to work with KP. Tier 3 is going to be taken down. He's trying to take down Young Eleven, who has an Icarus dive, so even if he gets caught, he can still get away more than likely. He also has a Hex. He's trying to make something out of field. Like, the Spirit Lance is coming in. He will finally Icarus dive away and just making so much space for his team. They might lose the Courier. They'll shield it as it's coming in. They will lose AP on the back lines. Young Eleven actually Hexes him and brings him down, so... Good step there. Dream Call on the paparazzi. He has the Satanic back up the full HP almost immediately. BKB is popped. Backdoor protection will not save you from a tiny. Or maybe it will. Should have get pretty low at the very least. The, the cooldown will go along with it. They will finally get the scratch. That should be Megas, I believe. And it is. And now SCCC will try to jump in, but too much damage coming in from Orin and the rest of the crew. Lana might get dropped. He's a little bit low in HP. Mugi jumping in. He has his Chrono back in three. Purifying Flames will do the job in the Lana, but I don't think they really care. Ori will cancel his CP, so will Fenrir. Toss coming out. Ori might be into trouble. Fenrir is the real one that's getting chased down. And the Black Cannon comes in. Pop Rots is trying to save his Bane. Bane has Brant up. Not enough mana to use. Spell. They're looking for Kaka. They will find him. There's the Chrono now under two. The buyback into the Bane. They're really trying to finish this game off. Supernova comes out, and Mugi has to back himself away. And now the Chrono is down for nothing. Mugi gets hit up there. It's going to be the Hex now under KP. He's about to die back. That'll do it. GG is called. BG Gaming, they pretty much had the lead from the moment this game started, and they took a little while to get the game done before it did they. 38 minutes in, a 23k hit match. BG Gaming looks fantastic here in Gaming for three days. And the newbie draft.